Hello and welcome to Electric Guitar Review. My name is Ben Morgan Brown and you've just been watching Jace Morris demonstrating the Provocateur SP01SD from Shergold Guitars. Designed in the UK by Patrick James Eggle and built in Indonesia, the Provocateur is a modern single cut guitar with a solid mahogany body, finishing a through dirty blonde gloss, and a bolt-on torrified mahogany neck with a hand burnished satin finish, topped with an ebony fingerboard with a scale length of 625.5mm, medium jumbo frets and a 12 inch radius. A USA Seymour Duncan Pearly Gates humbucker resides in the bridge position, matched with a USA Seymour Duncan SP90 in the neck, and the pickups share a single volume and tone control, and the tone control has a push-pull coil split that is active on the bridge pickup. The bridge is a PJE design Shergold custom tee with compensated brass saddles, staggered locking machine heads grace the headstock, and the guitar has an RRP of £829. For this review, Jace is playing through a Marshall DSL 20, so let's have another listen to some playing now, then please join me afterwards for my thoughts. <laughs> My first impression is that the Provocateur does a good job of combining traditional and modern elements to come up with a design that's fresh without being too radical. The pick guard reminds me a bit of some 70s bolt-on custom guitars, but the aluminium inlays on the fingerboard give it a contemporary edge. The build quality is good with a tight neck pocket and some very well dressed frets, and the finish is well applied, particularly the satin finish on the neck, which is very smooth feeling. The machine heads have a positive feel to them, and the switch and pots also feel solid and reliable. Through a clean amp, the bridge pickup has a nice punch without getting shrill. It almost sounds like a beefy Telecaster to me, which, given the neck join and string through bridge, makes sense, I suppose. There's a bit of a peak in the upper mids, which gives the pickup a bit of poke, but it's not too aggressive sounding. The coil tap setting sounds okay, it's a bit thin on its own I thought, but in the middle position with the neck pickup it added a bit of clarity that worked well. With the coil tap off, the middle position is very full sounding, with a good amount of chime. The P90 in the neck is smooth and fat, with a beefy low end that retains string clarity. Kicking some overdrive, and that upper mid peak from the bridge really shines, it starts to get a bit snarly with a tone that will cut through a mix on leads and add punch to rhythm parts. Again, the coil tap on its own sounds a bit thin in comparison, but once more it works well as an alternative middle setting. I really like how the neck P90 sounded on gainier riffs. It had a lot of heft but didn't get too mushy, and picking dynamics were still discernible even with decent amounts of gain. I was a bit disappointed by the taper of the volume and tone pots. The volume pot starts off quite smooth, but then seems to drastically drop off about halfway. The tone pot on the other hand seemed to do very little until it was at the end of its sweep when suddenly all the top end disappears. Overall, the guitar feels quite lively with good sustain and resonance, even unplugged. It sits on the strap well and despite not having a ribcage contour, the forearm contour and slightly offset body shape means it's comfortable to play both sitting and standing. 
One thing I really liked was the feel of the neck. The hand burnished satin finish is silky smooth under the hand with no drag. The guitar arrived with a really good setup as well, which combined with the comfortable C-shaped neck, scale length, medium jumbo frets and 12 inch radius meant for a very clean playing feel. Upper fret access is excellent and the slight contouring on the neck heel means you're not adjusting your hand too much as you reach up to the dusty end. At £829, I think the SP01SD is pretty fairly priced. The addition of USA Seymour Duncans and the all-round build and hardware quality definitely bump up its value for money rating in my book, and aside from the tone and volume knob taper, I can't really find anything to fault. It's a good looking guitar with great playability and a variety of tones thanks to the P90 and humbucker setup. All in all, I think Shergold are onto a winner of this guitar. It's got two great sounding pickups, a beautifully payable neck, and it manages to combine elements of two of the most successful single cut guitars into a package whilst maintaining its own style. And it does it all for under a thousand pounds. I hope you've enjoyed this video from Electric Guitar Review. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon to be kept up to date when we post new videos. And Jason and I look forward to seeing you next time.